Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup, your go-to channel for the latest in celebrity news and drama. Today, we're diving into a juicy story involving media personality Jason Lee and none other than Jay-Z and Beyonce. Apparently, Jason claims he's been receiving calls from their team and he has a lot to say about it. So let's break down the details and uncover what's really going on between these three megastars. Make sure you stick around until the end for all the latest updates. Jason Lee, host of Hollywood Unlocked, recently dropped a bombshell on his podcast. He claims that Jay-Z and Beyonce have been reaching out to him, but here's the twist. He doesn't even know why. According to Jason, he hasn't said anything about the couple, yet he's been getting calls left and right from their team. He even called out Jay-Z directly saying, you know how to get my number. Stop having people call me, just call me yourself. The confusion and frustration are clear in Jason's voice as he wonders why they're contacting him in the first place. So what sparked these calls? Well, there are viral allegations swirling around Jay-Z and Beyonce's friendship with Diddy. It's unclear if this is what triggered the outreach to Jason, but it's certainly part of the conversation. In fact, Jason even joked about how, if I do come up missing, all the calls I've been getting have been about him, referring to Jay-Z. While Jason has clarified that he hasn't received any threatening calls, the mystery of why they're contacting him remains unsolved. Interestingly, Jason Lee isn't the only one who's received calls from Jay-Z and Beyonce's camp. British broadcaster Piers Morgan recently shared that their lawyer, Alex Spiro, reached out to him after an interview with Jaguar Wright, where baseless allegations about the couple were made. Piers ended up apologizing to Jay-Z and Beyonce on his show, Uncensored, and admitted that those claims had no foundation. This adds another layer to the story, suggesting that the power couple is quick to defend their image when false claims are made. Here's a clip of Jason Lee calling out Jay-Z directly on his podcast. Why would I, Jason Lee, be get I'm getting calls and I haven't even said anything. They ain't called me to go to the Rock Nation brunch. They haven't called me to go to the gold party. To accept being honored They at haven't the called show. me when we offered to honor Jay-Z at the award show. They didn't call me to go to the press conference about striking the deal with the NFL while we were kneeling for Kaepernick. They didn't call me to ask me what I thought about her hair care product. They didn't call me to offer a free bottle of her perfume. I didn't get to go backstage on, the, uh, on her tour for the Renaissance. In fact, when the video circulated, making it look like I've been chasing her around like a super fan, which I am a super fan, but I chase nobody. Uh, nobody's called me to clear that up. I haven't gotten a delivery of white flowers with a little card from Beyonce. Why is everybody calling me now? Oh, and you also stopped. Don't we not go even go there? Mm -hmm. I stopped a major, 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 major thing for Beyonce. Didn't even get it. Thank you. But so now everybody's so why 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 is everybody calling me now? Because I'm a firefighter. Because <laughs> I I run towards fires, <laughs> and I put them out, or Ugh. I fan the flames. But why is everybody calling me now? And that's the problem that I have with this whole situation. But I am going to save this conversation for Jay Z. Jay-Z, you're watching. I know you're watching because you got people calling me. Stop having people call me. You can call me yourself. You know how to get my number. You know you, you got people calling me. Call me yourself because this right here is going to go viral. The way my job works on the internet, everybody's going to be clipping, sharing on, 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 on uh, uh, TikTok. Watch this. Do your thing, TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Jay-Z and Beyonce is going to see this. I am exhausted with people calling me about Jay-Z and Beyonce. You've never called for anything else. And I haven't even said anything about you yet. And yet I'm getting all these calls. I've gotten more calls over the weekend about Jay-Z and Beyonce. You know, I think this is an opportunity to have a bridge and have a conversation about how this thing works because I'm not a publicist. I am not a, um, I'm just Jason, okay? And I have opinions about unlocking Hollywood. Remember I said at the top of this show or somewhere in the show that I, I was in love with the entertainment industry until I found out it was Jeffrey Dahmer. This is part of the gnawing at the wrist that the industry does. You know, black excellence, we don't show up for each other like we should. And then when the shit's about to hit the fan or some shit, you think I'm going to go fan some shit. Now you're showing up. You know, again, I'm not angry. I'm a little disappointed because as much as I've loved this woman for years, I told you I don't like her as much as I used to. I still love her, but I'm not as super fan like I used to be. You know how much I was a, I mean, this woman, what this is like, 
this is everything and 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 this together is everything but is it i think this is an opportunity to have a conversation because i believe that we as a culture should be very supportive of each other before this stuff happens so that way our proximity to it can help us tell the real story that's why we got to be working together to tell our stories but i will tell you to the audience if i do come up missing all the calls i've been getting have been about him and listen I haven't had any threatening calls. Nobody has said that they're going to hurt me, so I want to go on record for that. You can really hear his frustration. And now take a look at Piers Morgan's public apology to Jay-Z and Beyonce on his show, where he admitted the allegations against them were unfounded. Think about platforms. The reality of the modern world is that pretty much everyone has a platform as long as they have something to say that other people want to hear. That's why we invited her on to be interviewed. The people making these claims have an audience with or without shows like mine. Well, Jack, you were right, unexpectedly made several serious allegations about Jay-Z and Beyonce during that interview. As I said in the moment, they were not present to respond or defend themselves, but now they have. Their lawyers contacted us to say that those claims were totally false and have no basis in fact, and we've therefore complied with the legal request to cut them from the original interview. Editing, editing interviews is not something we do lightly at a show called Uncensored. Uh, but, like the proverbial cries of fire in a crowded theatre, there are legal limits on us too. And we apologise to Jay-Z and Beyonce. So there you have it. Jason Lee claims that Jay-Z and Beyonce have been reaching out to him, though the exact reason remains unclear. Whether it's connected to the ongoing rumors about Diddy or something else entirely, it seems like the power couple is keen on controlling their narrative. We'll be sure to keep you updated on this evolving story right here on the Red Carpet Reup. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on the latest celeb drama.